I'm excited about that. Uh, Iowa State is a terrific environment to play in. Uh, I don't know if any or all of you have ever been there, but it is. Uh, I think they've had sellouts in the first two games, and since Coach Rhodes has been there, man, the attendance has been through the roof. They've done their fans do a great job, and it always makes for a great environment for, for a, a Saturday afternoon, uh, particularly in the Big 12. So we're excited to go out there and be a part of it. Uh, you know, Coach Rhodes has done such a great job since he's been there, and he's one of the guys for me personally in this profession that I respect the most. And there's a lot of reasons why that is. I mean, he's been very successful on the field. But I think the thing that sticks out for me is he's one of the things that's really, really right about college football. And the reason I, I can say that is I've been around him quite a bit. I've had the, the opportunity to interview with him at one point uh, for opening that he had. Uh, and he's just such a class act. But he has always been about the kids and about our game. The thing that I've really enjoyed being around him with in the Big 12 is just watching him truly care about making our game better. And, uh, you know, that takes work. That takes extra work outside of what you're trying to do with your team to make sure that you uh, – to, to, to try to make this game better. And Coach Rhodes does that uh, tirelessly. And I, I enjoy watching him, and I've learned a lot from him over the years. Uh, he truly cares about those kids, like I said. Um, I know he's probably having a thrill right now because he's got two kids playing for him right now, so that's got to be a good, a good deal for him. So I'm happy for him. Um, you know, he's done some wonderful things there. They've been uh, – quote unquote uh, giant killer since they've been there. They've won some big games against some really good football teams. I, I, I think back to that game against Nebraska that they had there. Uh, and then, you know, they, they upset Oklahoma State the year that Oklahoma State had a chance to go play uh, in the national championship game. That was a big game. Uh, those are games that stick out in my mind. And there's there's been many, many games like that for Coach Rhodes while he's been there. And that speaks to his leadership and the, the guys that he has on his staff. Now, I'm sure there'll be some questions about some other guys that are on that staff today, but uh, it's going to be a big a big thrill for me to be able to get to go out and compete. Myself, uh, George Matsakis, Louis Matsakis, Clint Bowen, a lot of us were fortunate enough to be given opportunities to work right here at the University of Kansas by Coach Mangino, who I have the utmost respect for, uh, for a lot of different reasons, and I've documented those well in the past. Uh, but it's going to be really fun to get to see him. I haven't seen him in a little while. Uh, and it's been fun to watch his blueprint kind of get uh, laid down there at, at Iowa State offensively. So it's going to be exciting to play against him, not only him, but Brandon Blaney, who was on our staff, who I think is one of the finest, finest minds in our game. That guy is underrated. He does a really good job, uh, and I haven't seen him in a while. He was in the NFL for a good, good uh, while after we left here. So uh, I know it's going to be a, a fun time getting to see him as well. Tommy Mangino, who does a great job with those receivers there, he and I got to work together here, which was a lot of fun. Uh, been been fun watching his career grow. And then there's a kid that played for us here named Reese Petty that's a, a GA form that uh, played for me. And man, he is one of those guys that I just have a, a ton of respect for and did a lot here for this program while he was here. Uh, but those guys, that'll be fun. It'll be a good reunion. But uh, when that ball gets kicked off, we're all, we're all going to be working just like we all have been. So. Uh, this team is going to be a challenge. There's no doubt about it. Uh, they've got some really good players. they got some guys with some experience, but they've also got a good, nice little mix of youth in there, particularly defensively. Uh, I think offensively, when you think about those guys, as I've watched that tape, that quarterback makes them go, that uh, Sam Richardson has been around for a while. One of the things that really sticks out to me is that guy's got 5,000 yards pass, 5,000 yards plus passing and 1,000 yards plus rushing. I think he's one of only five guys active right now that have those type of numbers in the NCAA. That's hard to do now. you got to be able to play a bunch of games to be able to get that done. And, and he's done a good job of that. He's got a lot of experience, man, which is something you can't give him without without playing. He, uh, he, uh, he makes him go. He's very efficient. You can tell he knows where to go with the ball. Um, and that experience is, is a big plus for them. Uh, I like their receiving core. There's a kid named Alan Lazard that I recruited while I was at A&M. That is a big, good-looking target. That guy can play. Uh, he is a big body guy, and you get it close to him, it's it's not easy to knock it down because he's a strong guy. He's a challenge because of his size. Um, and he, he did the same things when I watched him play in high school. Uh, the Montgomery kid, number eight, he's a really good player. They, they've got a great receiving core. Those guys across the board, uh, you know, 
number nine, Von Drag, he's a great player. I mean, those guys, they, they have done a nice job assembling and recruiting there some receivers that they've got. The Daily Kid is a really good player as well. All those guys are productive. I think Tommy does a really good job with them. I mean, I watch his blueprint, things that he, he and I work together on, and he taught me. I can see them happening out there on the field. So uh, it's been good to watch him develop with those guys. Coach Blaney.